to ladies and gentlemen my name is Ronald uh, some of you parents and students can be interested in my presentation I'll make a small presentation on how to use the system as a student how to log in and access what you're supposed to be accessing and how you can actually do it to join us and be part of the canon school now I believe uh, every elementary student has uh, has login credentials that is a password that you need to know. If you don't have and yet you know you're admitted, then better let us know and we, we can receive and we, we, we give you a new password. Now you log in as you watch, you log in, you log in to Canon Schools, Canon Schools in your browser. You can use a phone, you can use a laptop, a tablet. Then it will take you to this page, it has Canon High School, Canon Primary School, Canon Nursery, and Canon International. So in this case, let's assume you're a primary pupil, you're a high school student or whatever, but in this case, we are going to choose Canon Primary. So you choose where you belong. So in this case, we shall choose login. We shall choose Primary and we log in. When you log in, you enter, You, you, when you click login, you enter a password. And in this case, we are going to use one example of this name as a student. Then put in your password. I hope you're watching and you're following what I'm doing on the screen. So you have successfully logged in. Now, I want us to look at uh, the basically six main functionalities or modules that I want to take you through. One, after logging in, on your left hand side, there is a menu. As you can see where the cursor is, you know, is rotating around. We have a dashboard, feature, class lecture, and all that. But basically, the, the main function that you need to know as a student, and I believe others, you shall get to know them over time. There are basically like six of them. We are going to start with class lecture. Now, in this class lecture, this is where you find all the recorded lessons. A teacher might decide to record a lesson. He uploads it there. Then for you as a student, you just log in and click class lecture. When you click class lecture, it will take you to, to recorded uh, videos or recorded lessons that your teacher uploaded. So in this case, let's look at... Um, uh, we are seeing um, English lesson, we are looking at mathematics. Let's try to, to choose one of them. So you click view. When you click view, you just give it some time to load. So you can see this is, uh, this is a, a, a recorded video. Just say, of course it is hosted by me. So, uh, this is the lesson. I think it's lesson five. Yes. So you can, uh, as a student, you can attend until this le lesson is done. And of course, by the time you come back tomorrow, you'll find a different lesson. This is, um, let me pause. This is in addition to the live lectures that we have. We have recorded lessons and live lessons. Now, this is where you find your recorded lessons. Assuming the teacher is sick, or oh, he's too busy, he can decide to record his lesson, and he uploads it here, and you as a student, you find it in your dashboard. So after class lecture, we go to live class. Now, this is where we've been having issues with most students. Um, as you can see, uh, with live classes, these are live lessons. You log in, it is a live video call or video lesson where the teacher is teaching you uh, uh, on a live video. The, uh, the advantage of this is that it is more of an interactive session because you can ask the teacher, the teacher can give you an answer to each question. And I like in the class lecture, and I like in the other recorded one. Because the recorded one, is you just sit, attend, and watch and listen and take notes. But here you can 
uh, raise your arm and ask the teacher what you find difficult or for some clarification. Now, um, these are lessons that have been scheduled. It shows the class, the section, subject, the teacher, the time, the date, and the time, the starting time and the end time. Okay. Now, some people who are using phones, uh, it might display in a different manner. How? Instead of displaying all these options, you just see uh, the name of the subject and the teacher and the time. You don't see these options, where there is expired, joint class, or live, or something. Now, for the case, in case you're using a phone, uh, you, there is always a, a, a green plus button that you can click. When, once you click that, uh, that, uh, that icon, it will bring you more options of expire, the options of, jo of joining class, or options that tell you that, you know, this, this lesson is, is coming and it is not yet. Now, I have set an example of a live lesson, and it is going to start at exactly this time, one at, at midnight, that is 12. Then it will end at 12.55 p.m. So as we speak, it is uh, uh, like three minutes to that very time. But as we wait for those three minutes, I want to continue. I want to take you to uh, another, another module uh, where we have been having issues. Another module which is very important for our students is called class routine. Now, basically, class routine is just a timetable. It will show you time, it will show you the subject, and it will also show you the teacher. What time are you going to have this English lesson? Which date? And by who? So basically, you just click. Uh, you come to where is class? You click class routine. When you click class routine, it will display. This is mathematics by so and so room this on monday at this time so this is the timetable we can always refer to this timetable online or you print you can take a screenshot save it in your phone or print there is a print button at the extreme end on your right or extreme bot uh, bottom of the page you just click print if you are connected with the printer you just print okay you can see this is the timetable if you zoom it so you print and have that hard copy with you, such that you can always know that at this time I have ABCD. Uh, from class routine, we can go to assignment. Now, normally after every lesson, some teachers give out assignment. But when they give assignments, you find it a problem accessing and finding where that assignment is. So this is where it is. You, this is where you shall always find it. You view the assignment, for example, this is division and multiplication of fractions. This is mathematics. You click view, then you can download. When you download, a file shall appear. Now, this is the assignment. You can, if you can reply, uh, you can uh, use the PDF editor to, to, uh, to give your answers. Then you save, after saving, you come back here Assuming you have done your work and you want to send it back to the teacher, you got submission. When you click submission, you say add. Add submission, you click. It was multiplication of fractions. You choose from this, from this list of assignments. So you, you, you choose uh, multiplication of fractions. You upload, assuming you had saved your work on the, on the desktop. Um, when you click, assuming you have clicked to this, you upload it. If you can just give answers plainly, you can make your answers in this box. Then after you submit. So you can, if, if, if the answer sheet does not contain anything like diagrams or pictures, you can just paste your word, just your, 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 your text work here, and you click submit. 
or if you have it in PDF or if you have it in uh, uh, PowerPoint or you know these are the document formats document PDF uh, PowerPoint JPG JPEG you upload and send the moment you send that specific teacher that sent you that assignment will be the only person to see your answer sheet. From a side, just to, from assignment, you know, submitted, I've shown you, you submit the you submit the work that you've been given by your teacher. Now, another important module is accounting. In accounting, when you click accounting, you are able to see the new invoice. Assuming we sent you an invoice demanding some money, maybe uh, our, the fees that we charge, you find the invoice here. So you can click to pay. Or you, there are different payment methods. find it in your seat. When you click the seat, you find it paid receipt. Um, Criminal 5, section A, as Katasi. That is in case they have sent your receipt, this is why you can always access your seat. So the receipt appears here. Now, I believe our scheduled time, because the most important thing here is how do I join live classes? This is, this is why we've been having issues. And we had set um, we had set our our live lesson for demonstration purposes. So let us go back to live class and see. <clears throat> okay, now we have already close to this. Uh, to this uh, day of uh, July 6th, 20, yeah, July 6th, 2021. And we have a scheduled lesson at this time, at this time. You can see it is reading, it reads waiting. So which means uh, it is not yet, oh, we had made a mistake. It is supposed to be AM, not PM. So we had made a mistake and set PM, but still, nevertheless. Good. Um, we are going back to our live, our live lessons for the special purposes. I had set a live lesson at this time as I'm highlighting. So it is showing, it is, it is showing live, which means the lesson is already going on. It shows uh, the, the start time and the end time. So you can see others are showing waiting, which means it is not yet time for those specific lessons. Now, let us see. If I find my lesson here and it is reading live, how do I join? As a student, you just click host class. Host class. So it will take you to you make sure your device has a camera and a microphone. If it, if, it, if it doesn't have an immune microphone, then at least you use headsets. Those headsets that have microphones. So you can see uh, it is taking me to, to this page. Uh, this is just an advert from Google. You just close it out. So I'm logging in as, um, as uh, a system admin. So I'll just close join meeting. So now, as I speak, I'm a teacher, I'm, conduct, uh, I'm a student, I've joined this class. So you find a teacher and other class members on your right. I mean, those members that, uh, that are part of your class. So we've been having issues with how to access, how to join uh, live, live lessons. I think uh, this demonstration now puts uh, uh, careers uh, clears every doubt that we've been having, every ignorance about the system. I believe we are conversant with the system now, and uh, we might not have these issues of I can't see where to click. But uh, if you have any question, please uh, let me know so that we can help each other to make canon schools 
success. Otherwise, I would 